So today I'm gonna be showing you how to use your Android phone with Dolphin as a V remote. I'm gonna demonstrate with Mario Kart V, which I have over here. Now, the first thing you need to do is go into V mode and then select emulated V mode as V mode number one. Then press configure. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. This is this is a profile I created. Now the buttons are. You know the buttons are attached to my uh, map to my game controller. That that does not matter. Just just go to this thing called UDP V mode and press configure. And now it, it's gonna look like this when you first use it. Now just press all of this. And yeah, remember the UDP port. You're gonna need it later. You're gonna need it later. The UDP listening port. Press OK, 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 and you're done. But now. The main part is the stuff you have to do on your phone. So what I'll do is I'll open a new tab on my browser and search for C O N T R O Ah C O N T R Control it pad. And then when it gets when it gets to the results it's gonna be this link which says something like UDPV for Android. The other ones below this are nothing but pure scam. Just do not click on them. Since this program is out of development, but, but it still works. And it's also free. Now, you're gonna see four links over here. Click the last one, which says, this is an older version. And that version is 1.0.apk. You, you'll have to click 1.1. And then you download it. This is the link. I I've I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it. But I'll st I'll still download one. So this type of file can harm your device. Just ignore that. Take my word for it. It will not harm your device. And then you just click OK. It's gonna download. And then you're gonna have this app. You know just. Just click on it and install and then it's gonna be on your home screen so now you press this now if you I've been uh, I've been trying to get the infrared working but it's it's rather complicated so I would just suggest you just use the acceleration feature now, now what you do is you click all of these except infrared and then press hold 90 degree rotated now what that means is if if you hold your phone like this the cursor is going to point toward the north or the cursor will not be rotated but if you press 90 degree rotated when when you press and and then when you you'll have to hold your phone like this and then the controller will be upright so so you'll have to you'll have to play like this and it's actually easier since instead of pressing buttons like this you just have to press them like this this is nothing but uh, your own choice but if you want to play driving games or something which i wanted to do in this case i wanted to play mario kart so you're going to do this you're going to enter the ip of your you're going to enter the ip of your pc over here now my pc's ip is obviously different than yours or it might be the same but yeah you have to check that out on your own and this is the listening port for udpv for for dolphin which we configured in the previous step now once that's done and if and if the ip you 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 entered was right when you press start it should work it should when you press start it should work so i'm just gonna start this up see there I, there I get the remote, no, this, this is the remote, so I hold it and I play it like this. As you see, this is Mario Kart V. This could, I, I just press the A button and it will respond. You see that? You see that? It worked. And now, this, this was the upright cursor. If you see, the cursor is actually rotating. Now, since I did not enable infrared, since it's, 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 it's problematic for my device, might work with yours I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use this with my controller 
my controller has keys marked it's different so I'm just gonna go and press this and you know I'm just gonna set a race up so that I can demonstrate the controller I'm just gonna go to Grand Prix and you know just select the general options just gonna select Mario for now. <laughs> Automatic and we're gonna select mushroom cup. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, the games the game story. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate how it works. And I'm gonna as you saw this was the upright sensor, so I'm just gonna use it like this. If you played Mario Kart V before, you obviously know 2 is the key. So I'm just gonna accelerate, see, it works. And as you can see, it's actually working like a Wii Remote. Which is amazing since the other software on Android does not work. Now, excuse me for my poor driving. But that's just because I'm, I'm recording this. But as you can see, it works. See, now I'm drifting, now I'm drifting. This is this is not a scam, it actually works. Right, I hope this helped you and thanks for watching.